Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and welcome back to another episode of Sea Salt Snippets. Today for you guys, we've got some spicy topics to talk about, so let's just dive straight into it. First up for today, I'm going to be taking a look at the newest addition to the Kingdom Hearts 3 Keyblades, and that is obviously the Keyblade that corresponds to the world of Toy Story. Now, honestly speaking, I was pretty surprised to see that Square Enix actually gave us a little glimpse of the Keyblade that does correspond to the world of Toy Story within the most recent trailer. I was kind of thinking along the lines that Square Enix would keep things like Keyblades and stuff like that under wraps until, you know, obviously people go ahead and play the game for themselves. But then again, Keyblades are a very iconic part of Kingdom Hearts, so this is, in a way, pretty good promotion for the world itself. So far, we've seen a total of three new Keyblades that obviously will be in Kingdom Hearts 3. The first one is obviously the star-looking one that kind of resembles the Star Seeker in a way. We've also seen a new Hercules Keyblade, which looks really, really cool. And now, obviously, we have the Toy Story Keyblade. Now, looking at the actual Keyblade itself, I have to say that the design is absolutely perfect and correlates to the themes of Toy Story absolutely fantastically. So as you guys can see, in terms of the hilt, we've got a Buzz Lightyear sort of theme going on. We've got the Galactic Rangers, like little icon theme bob right there, as well as the colors that correspond to obviously Buzz Lightyear. And then of course, if we look at the top half of the Keyblade, we've then got this cactus with a rope wrapped around it with a bandana, as well as a cowboy hat and a sheriff's badge. So clearly the top half corresponds to Woody. One of the really cool detail that I noticed on this Keyblade is that the keychain of this Keyblade is the claw from obviously the claw machine that we see within the Toy Story films. Now back before the actual announcement of Toy Story being within Kingdom Hearts, obviously you know we've wanted Toy Story to make its way into Kingdom Hearts for a very long time. So when you kind of think of a certain Disney property being in Kingdom Hearts, one of the first things you think about is what will that Keyblade look like? And I was thinking along the lines of something like a toy-esque Keyblade, but the fact that the actually gone with the whole style of actually, you know, theming it to both Woody and Buzz, the main characters of Toy Story, I think Square Enix have done an absolutely fantastic job. Next up, we have some brand new Kingdom Hearts 3 merch that ended up getting revealed around the release of the D23 trailer. First things first, Guardian Form Sora will be receiving his very own Bring Arts figure. And just in case you guys don't know, Bring Arts is actually a different figure line to that of Play Arts Kai. Uh, Bring Arts can sort of be seen as a mini version of the Play Arts figures. And on top of that, they also come at a cheaper price than Play Arts as well. I know that there is a lot of complaints generally about Play Arts Kai figures and the fact that they are extremely expensive. So yeah, with Bring Arts, you're getting a smaller figure, but at a discounted price. So yeah, this is Guardian Form Sora right here, as you guys can see. And as of right now, he is actually available. Uh, you guys can actually go ahead and pre-order this figure on the Square Enix store. However, the really cool thing is he's actually available as of right now to purchase if you are attending the San Diego Comic Con. Otherwise, if you guys do want to pre-order this figure right here, he will be releasing in September of this year. The other really cool thing is, it was announced not too long ago that the Toy Story versions of Sora, Donald, and Goofy will also be receiving their very own Bring Arts figures as well. And honestly, this makes so much sense. He's a toy, and he's getting his own toy. It's perfect. I love it. Unfortunately, as of right now, there is no information as to when the Toy Story versions of Sora, Donald, and Goofy will be releasing. I would say as of right now, the figurines are still probably in development. See, see what I did, did there? That's a dead meme now. We've, we've actually got the release yet. That's a dead meme, guys. But yeah, the only reason why I say that is the Square Enix account that actually posted this uh, is showing us pictures of just the renders of these characters and not actual pictures of the figures themselves. And last up for today, we've actually got some news to do with Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. And it's actually been some time since we last talked about Union Cross. So here we go. Pretty shortly, Famitsu will be posting their huge 12-page feature of Kingdom Hearts 3, going over some pretty exclusive information from an interview to do with obviously Tetsuya Nomura and Famitsu themselves. Within Famitsu's features of Kingdom Hearts, it usually contains a huge amount of information and gives us a lot of really cool insight. Now the feature itself hasn't actually released and obviously when it releases, the information will take some time to come out because of the fact that it has to go through the process of translation. However, though, certain key points of information that will be included within this massive feature have actually leaked. And one of these pieces of information is the fact that the fifth union leader for 
Kingdom Hearts Union Cross will be revealed in early August. Now we've actually waited for the reveal of the fifth member for quite some time now. It's actually been quite a few months since we've received a substantial story update, or more specifically the story update we've all been waiting for, in which to obviously reveal the fifth and final member of the Union Cross leaders. Union Key obviously focuses a lot more within the leaders of the Dandelions, and so as of right now, we are just waiting to see who this fifth and final member will be. Now there's a lot of theories up in the air as of right now, but I personally believe it's going to be a female character, but more so specifically, I believe there is a high chance that this fifth member could quite possibly be Kyrie's grandmother. Now, I don't want to go into a full-on explanation as of right now. I actually have a entirely separate video kind of talking about this exact topic. So if you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. Now, also, because of the fact that Famitsu is a Japanese-based gaming magazine, I'm sure that this is for the Japanese version of Union Cross. So don't expect this update to come out early August for Global, although I could be wrong, maybe the update will come out for Global early August. But generally speaking, of course the Japanese version of Union Cross usually always receives these sort of updates first and then shortly afterwards the global version will get updated as well. But yeah, I'm really excited to see who the fifth member is so obviously not too long to go. Now guys, that is all for today. Hopefully I'm having a fantastic day in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys thought about today's news and information. Are you excited for the fifth member reveal? I know I am. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.